Well, I asked you guys for your hottest, spiciest, scorching takes about Super Smash Bros. Something a little controversial, a little unexpected. So let's see what you guys have in store for us today. Meteor Cancelling is the most sauceless mechanic in fighting game history. You want to talk about sauceless, I got something worse. In Smash 4, there was literally a mechanic where you were randomly unable to tech the ground for no reason. And the chances of this happening was 30%, which is 30 times more likely than tripping in Brawl. That's no sauce, that's some dry, chewy, unseasoned chicken. Smash Ultimate is the worst of the games competitively. For those who want to argue that Smash 4 or Brawl is worse, those games have shield dropping. For being a platform fighter, moving on plats is ass in alt. Now I'll give you one thing, moving on platforms in Ultimate is definitely ass, but is it the worst competitive experience in the entire series? No, I don't think it is. 64 didn't even have standard DI, so you would just get destroyed by these huge never ending combos with no way to escape. And Brawl had so many problems I don't even know where to begin. Ridiculous chain grabs, very few combos, overpowered defensive options, you name it. The main problem with Smash Ultimate is just the horrible worst in the series input lag. That alone sours a competitive experience in my eyes. Smash for 3DS is better than Smash for Wii U. I own them both and had a way better experience on the Smash 3DS. Yes, it's about time someone spoke the truth about this. 3DS had Smash Run Mode, which is significantly better than that busted up board game from Wii U. Plus I had the pre-release demo which was so hype, being able to play the game before it even came out. So I gotta agree with this take 100%. Pokemon Stadium shouldn't have been frozen. The stage transformations added interest to sets and made for some unique or hype plays you wouldn't otherwise see on stages without walls. I gotta say this, spectator in me agrees, but the competitor in me just doesn't. The biggest problem with Pokemon Stadium is just the ridiculous infinites. If there wasn't the wall shines or Pikachu jab shenanigans, I would 100% be on board with this. Melee Felco would be a mid-tier between Doc and Ganon if he didn't have his laser. Not gonna lie, this is straight up cap. He would still have Shine which is a one frame combo machine, and Down Air which is better than all of Doc's aerials combined. Even if you took Falco's lasers and a Shine away, he still might be better than Doc. Project Plus is the greatest competitive Smash like fighting game invented to this very second. I asked for a hot take not a factual statement. Hit me up when Smash Ultimate adds a mode as fun as Turbo Mode, oh wait you won't cause that's never gonna happen. Last but least we got, we got this. Melee, while interesting to watch, is a terrible game that needs to die. The movement is clunky unless you're frame perfect, which is asking a lot out of a game meant for casual play. The game fails at being a casual party game and just ends up being a competitive mess. Okay, I don't know where this idea came from that you have to be frame perfect to play Melee, but it's just not true. L cancelling has a 7 frame window, dash dancing is extremely lenient. Frame perfect suggests it's one frame. It's not one frame. Which is why this take is booty cheeks, guys and gals. I'll save some more hot takes for a later video, but until then, that's all for today. Thanks for